Sally, you've done a lot of you've done a lot of these in various libraries uh, all around. Uh, so how is this going to be set up? How will I follow from uh, one uh, exhibit to the other? Well, actually, um, I often like making it something of a treasure hunt. I, I like making it part of the library experience so that when you turn a corner, suddenly there will be some photographs and a story about the photographs. <laughs> but, you know, um, that's another question. People ask me, why libraries? I've been in galleries and museums, and I'm very honored when the museum invites me. I was thrilled when I was invited to have this exhibit in the East Wing Rotunda of our state capitol building. That was quite an honor. But libraries are where people are. And first of all, I love libraries. I'm a reader. I'm a writer. And it's in my blood. But it's also where people go. People aren't going to galleries and museums as much. And I... I feel like I connect with a larger group of people and a group of people that might not otherwise experience Pennsylvania Hands. And if I could explain a bit about what Pennsylvania Hands is, um, it is my visual celebration. It's my, what I call, narrative uh, portraiture of people who keep the old trades alive, people like uh, a blacksmith or a bookbinder or a glassblower, those trades that were needed by our society as it was developing. And it's not just pictures of their hands. It's the hands as a metaphor. It's the whole experience of how they create their works. And um, it is narrative or storytelling photography in that I try to capture the entire process and share with my viewers uh, the stories behind the items that were everyday necessities. When I was uh, photographing Jeff Fiant, who is this incredible uh, winter chair maker, gorgeous work that he does, and um, his workshop is filled with sawdust. I mean, I had to air uh, air blow my equipment when I was <laughs> finished, which is all over the place. Yes. <laughs> and but that's wonderful. That's, that's part of it. Sally, you're actually establishing a relationship with these people as you learn their process and get yes. to know them. Very much so. Okay. That's why I get so enriched by all this. Mm-hmm. I, I, mm-hmm. I come out of a photo shoot absolutely exhausted and so energized at the same time. <laughs> I can understand the, that, yes. The people I meet and the relationships I'm developing, um, I hope this will go on for at least the next decade. Uh, I am just enjoying it so much, and I think there's a lot of meaningful value for all of us in it. When mm-hmm. people walk through the James V. Brown Library this month of April and early May and look at your exhibit, what do you hope they will take with them? I hope they will take with them a lot of smiles uh, from the people that they meet through the pictures and a bit of awe of the skills that are still being retained for all of us, and hopefully uh, respect um, for it. But mostly I want them to understand the potential of human creativity when any of us truly devote ourselves to something, whatever it is. We have the potential of creating greatness. And in our, in each of us in our small way, some people do it in a very large way, but even in a small way, that we all have that potential to create something special, something that's meaningful. It, ta- it takes devotion. It takes a lot of hard work. But it is possible. 